So thank you very much for your kind introduction. Um, I'm very glad to be with you and I would like to say congratulations dear Rudolf Kinski for this great event and for your crew and your team that's a really great great annual conference of the AFCO in times of Corona. So great organization and very interesting discussions and speeches. Uh, thank you also for the opportunity to give you an insight in the development and current trends in the German private equity market. We are experiencing exciting times and of course I need to talk also about COVID-19 as many of you mentioned uh, before. And during the next half an hour we will have a look at two different worlds, the world before COVID and the world of COVID and honestly I prefer the third world, uh, the world after COVID. So I hope next year in 21, we will be live in Vienna with you together at the EFCO. We are also strongly affected by the cuts and uncertainties caused by COVID-19 pandemic. And after um, 2018 and 2019, when private equity markets around the world set new records, Corona was a major earthquake for the economy and society and of course for the capital market and private equity firms and their portfolios companies are facing great challenges and an end unfortunately is not yet in sight. It's a very interesting and as I have to say also a hard time for all of us in the world but I think nevertheless we don't have to lose our optimism so let's look forward even if it's not that easy every time. In the first time of my presentation, I would like to give you an overview of some current, current market figures and the second part, I would like to highlight current topics of BVK and political, political priorities. So let's move to uh, slide number one or yeah, exactly. I would like to start with an overview of the role of private equity currently plays in the German economy. Following the growth of the sector in recent years, we now have more than 300 PE and VC firms all of all kinds in Germany. So it's including also 50 international firms with their offices. More than 5,000 companies in Germany are currently financed with private equity, including of course, mainly SMEs. And just imagine these German companies backed with private equity employ around 1.1 million people and have a turnover of more than 200 billion euro. As a result, private equity has become an important pillar of the German economy, a fact that is widely accepted and which is also reflected in our political work. And as Eric de Montgolfier, the CEO of Invest Europe, mentioned this morning at the beginning of the AFCO conference, it shows that private equity is deeply woven into the social and economic fabric of Europe, supporting employment in every country and every major industry sector. So now the next slide uh, now is to some market figures. Uh, first, the fundraising. As I said before, 2019 was a record year for private equity worldwide, for Germany as well, and fundraising reached its highest level ever with 5.5 billion euro. Even in the year before, it was already an upward, upward trend. So, however, a clear COVID-19 effect can be overserved here because less than 1 billion was collected in the first half of the year. And however, we are not going to lose our optimism. As I said before, we are optimistic that some more capital will be raised by the end of the year, as we know that many firms, of course, are currently in fundraising. And some of them are very, very successful. In September, for example, a few weeks ago, DPA, the Deutsche Private Equity, they raised 1 billion. It's the largest fund of them. And there will be, there certainly will be a few more closings before the end of the year, which may have been slightly delayed by COVID-19. 
So let's move to the next slide. The next slide will give you a more detailed look at which funds have particularly contributed to the upswing in fundraising. And fortunately, venture capital funds have played a significant role in the positive development in recent years. So we move over to the next slide. Um, now let's have a look at the investments. Here too, we were able to, celeb to celebrate a record year in um, 2019. So I don't tell you so much new things, but nevertheless, it's really a big issue, which has continued an upward trend since 2016 and more than 15 billion euro were invested. Of course, buyouts with 11 billions contributed most to this result and here in particular, some very large transactions. For example, I, I'm sure you heard about it, IFCO Systems, Röhm, Robert Bosch, Packingen, Edco, Autoscale24, Axel Springer. And however, venture capital also made a substantial contribution to the record results. Of course, COVID-19 will also put an end to the hunt of the for the record of the last years in terms of investments. In the first half of the year, uh, 5.7 billion were invested, which is robust, a robust level in few of the uncertainties and cuts in the market. So it's not that bad. So um, the next slide will give us a detailed look also at venture capital. It shows also an intact upward trend until 2019. This culminated in record investments by venture capital firms of nearly 2 billion, means 1.9 billion last year. And of course, foreign VCs contributed to this to a large extent. It is true that we now have a large number of venture capital companies in Germany, but however, with a few exceptions, these firms are not in a position to handle large financing rounds. That's really a big, big problem for us here in Germany. In rounds with double digit million amounts, therefore international VCs are almost always in the lead. A word on the current year here too, the picture is more or less robust. Um, a good 1 billion has been invested. We have indeed seen vivid investment activity in Germany and regularly and despite COVID-19, some very large round with international investors. This will uh, show you the next slide. No, it's not that, but okay. For buyouts and other la later stage, stage investments, the cutback in the current year was somewhat greater than in the venture capital sector. And as a result, these investments have now been noticeably reduced. However, at 4.7 billion in the first half of 2020, it should be feasible to reach the investments of 2017 and 2018. That means around 10 billion euro. And the next slide, I would like to add an additional look at the market sentiment. So that means the market sentiment together with KFW and the Handelsblatt, the a big German newspaper, econo um, economic uh, newspaper, I, I'm sure you know this, uh, we compile our German venture capital and private equity barometer. And it's a qualitative sentiment indicator for the two relevant market segments. And for the barometer, we survey, survey GPs in Germany on a quarterly basis about their mood, their current business and situations and their business prospects. And the first quarter was not surprisingly, surprisingly a shock. Market sentiment fell to new record lows. On the one hand, close to the absolute low of minus 100 points. And on the other hand, well below the comparable figures from the financial crisis 10 years ago. 
but however a clear counter movement follow followed in the second quarter although it still did not emerge from the negative territory it remains to be seen when we will see sentiment values above the neutral zero line again so um, slide the next slide is or the following two slides are of more informative nature um, as I described and as you know COVID was a shock to the markets and however the German private equity and venture capital market is still alive so that's a very good and important issue and a very good sign yeah it's still alive and it's it's good alive that's good to know because investment activity has not come to a standstill. That's very important to, to remember and, and to, to cover. And some substantial and large deals have been closed. In the buyout sector, the largest private equity takeover in Germany's history was announced in February. So just before the pandemic and the lockdown, and it was finally closed, that's interesting to realize, in July. So it started before the, the, the hard lockdown and during the lockdown, um, it was realized and, and, and closed. It was the takeover of ThyssenKrupp Elevators by a consortium led by Advent International. So that's very interesting to know. and. Mm, and the takeover of Wella by KKR is also one of the biggest transactions ever in Germany. So mm, as you see, there were two, two enormous and large and big transactions and closings uh, in German history during COVID-19 pandemic. So that's interesting to know, I think, and to realize and that there's always motivation and not only motivation that there's always um, enough money and the market is always alive and very vital so let's go to the to the next slide it's all um, it's also venture capital is not that far behind of private equity there have been some triple digit financing rounds and also some in the upper double digit round range and of course unsurprisingly supported by international investors as i told you before germany is unfortunately unfortunately not that um, that able to to have this big funds to to get all this money without international investors but that's okay and that's good because we need also in, in international investors that's very important for the uh, for private equity and venture capital as we will go to the next slide so this was until now the overview of the figures um, I wanted to uh, present you I hope I was not too quick and too fast on the road um, but now I really would like to announce um, what, I, what I announced before. I would now like to make a few more statements about our association activities and which topics are of political concern to the industry. Uh, you know, BVK is of course a big player for private equity and venture capital for the LPs, GPs and all the other um, very, very important members. And one very important issue of German politics is the so named Startup Protection Shield. Of course, it started during COVID 19, uh, during the lockdown. And uh, because it was so dominant, this theme that also for, for everybody, for the politicians, for normal people, for everybody, um, it is. The, the most important theme or one of the most important themes. In Germany, various measures and programs were introduced relatively quickly to mitigate the effects of the pandemic and to ensure liquidity and the, and the continued existence of companies. 
Um, yeah, that was very, very important. And the German government, government did it very quick um, in this case of established medium-sized and large companies. This was done primarily through loan programs and the KFW. And um, in the startup sector, on the other hand, the so named Startup Protection Shield was launched in April, May as an equity capital program with a volume of 2 billion euro. And as BVK, of course, we were involved at an early stage in its design by the Ministry of Economics and also the Ministry of Finance, as well as the responsible members of the Bundestag. And here we were in active communication with the political decision makers. And the program was then implemented in, in two pillars. And the pillar one is so-called the Corona Matching Facility, CMF. That's a co-investment program for venture capital firms. So that means not directly for the startups, but for the VCs. And the, the pillar two is implemented via the various state development institutions and the development banks subsidiaries. And it's for the, that's special for the startups and for the SMEs, the small and middle economies. And it started in this one started in June. So we are very exciting and we are looking forward how this program uh, will, will will match the, the the startups and the SMEs and how it will go how it will will go on. And another big big topic for my association for the BVK, of course, I know maybe you have heard about it, is the Zukunftsfonds Deutschland, the German uh, fund, uh, future fund, and it was announced last last year. And it seems to be that the Zukunftsfonds will launched in January next year, so 21. So next year with a volume of 10 billions and the 10 billions is to inject into startups through the Zukunftsfonds and its components over the next 10 years as venture capital. And the, the reason is to, to, to leverage the, as I told you, to leverage the funds, to make the funds, the German funds bigger and to give some, yeah, some leverage and uh, points for institutional investors. That's, that's one of the reason. And within the fund, various programs are to be expanded or nearly started. And there should be um, a launch of a deep tech fund, expansion of exciting programs, so um, the of KFW Capital, the HTGF, High Tech Gründerfonds, and Cooperion, and others. And the launch of VC of the VC funder funds, co-financed by private international institutional investors. So these are two very important issues for us as association. And of course, there are also legal issues. Uh, they were also discussed. We were particularly involved in the revision of the Foreign Trade and Payment Act, uh, AWG, the Außenwirtschaftsgesetz. I'm uh, sure and I know also Austria is very um, is very uh, deep in this theme, and you and the and the Austrians did it. Uh, they they just were able to to reach the aim, and um, we are just at the yeah. We just try to to make the politicians clear that it's very important that we will have foreign investments in Germany, but because without uh, foreign investors, it's very difficult to yeah to to keep on going in the private equity market and in the venture capital market so here certain hurdles and approval requirements were introduced for certain investments by non-eu foreigners in german companies it follows the eu screening and we were very much in favor of investment opportunities that were as unrestricted as possible as it is primarily international investors who now provide German startups, for example, with capital. So we don't want to, to make more restrictions for them because 
the more restrictions there are, so the less investors will be there. And that's not good for our market, of course. So, and finally, the, the last slide, a word about our latest study. That's very interesting. A few weeks ago, we presented our LP study. We conducted together with each HL business school in Leipzig and KFW Capital. At the beginning of the year, just before the COVID-19 starts, we asked numerous German institutional investors about their private equity investments, their strategies and their future plans, um, but also about hurdles for private equity and venture capital investment. And more than 60 institutions have participated in the survey. And the study is part of our efforts to develop BVK of course, as a platform for LPs, for the exchange of experience and as a source of information. And the final aim is to educate about private equity and to attract more German investors to the asset class. So, um, and the last slide is just to say thank you very much. I hope I was able to give you an interesting insight into the German market and the currently relevant topics and if you have any questions please do not hesitate to ask me or to contact me later so thank you very much uh, for your attention thank you